Hey guys, what's going on? This is Brian here with Classic G-Body Garage, and this here is a 1984 Hearst Stoles, a one owner, all original 84 Hearst Stoles. Now this car was dropped off here at Classic G-Body Garage for a couple of different reasons. The original owner said the car has been sitting in his barn for quite a few years. So it has a lot of the typical problems that these cars get over the years that they've been sitting. So let me go ahead and grab the camera and take you guys for a quick tour. All right guys, so here we go. All original, 84 Hearst Stoles. So the history behind this car was the owner bought this car when he was just 21 years old. Now back in the day, this was his only mode of transportation. So it did get driven. However, he did take very good care of it, considering it is an Ohio car. It was driven in a couple winters, but you really wouldn't be able to tell. Now since the car was driven, it does have some wear and tear on it. It has 83,000 original miles on it. But overall, it is in very, very nice shape. And all original, like I said, except for the keystones that are on it. But he did say he does have the original wheels for it. But they were taken off years ago. And you can see by the Goodyear Eagle GTs that are on the car on how long those wheels have been on this car. So let me open it up and I'll show you guys what the interior looks like. All right, I just love the interiors in these Hearst Souls. They're beautiful, they have a lot of chrome accents on them. Beautiful maple color. And of course the iconic lightning rod shifters. These shifters were only available in the 83 and 84 Hearst Souls. And they controlled the TH200 4R transmission. Now you can see that the original bucket seats have a set of seat covers on them. Now these seat covers have been on the car since way back in the 80s and you can see how faded they are. And uh, I would imagine that the original material is in excellent shape underneath. So you can see that it doesn't have any cracks in the dashboard. Everything is in very, very nice unmolested shape. You know, other than a little bit of dirt here and there, but you know, it's a driven car. Uh, it's been sitting in a barn for quite a few years and the original owner said he's gonna go through it and, and clean it up. It does have the power locks, and power windows, and power seat. It also has delay wipers, cruise control, tilt, and power trunk release. Very cool, all of the creature comforts of back in the day. This car was fully loaded for what was available back in the day. The back seat also looks very nice. Just overall, a very nice car. Doesn't appear that it sat out in the sun a whole lot. The, uh, the plastics is, uh, are in nice shape. They're not all uh, coming apart and uh, crusty, crusty and chalky from the sun. The doors close very nice as well. Now let's see what the 307 looks like under the hood. All right, I got the hood up here. And this is pretty much exactly what I thought this car would look like under the hood, considering what the interior looks like. All original, untouched, unmolested. Everything is here. And you know, considering the car is 33 years old and driven most of its life, it does have the typical road grime, dust and dirt, but nothing that can't be cleaned off. I mean, everything is here. Even the original carbon canister, air pump, air conditioning, and all of the vacuum lines that you would find under the hood here. And it's all original down to the chrome air cleaner sitting on top of the four barrel quadrajet, which was available only on the 83 and 84 Hearst Stoles. Now, what engine was under the hood here? Well, this is the Oles 307. No, unfortunately, it isn't the 350 Oles as 1979 was the last year the 350 was available in the Hearst Oles package. However, these 307s do run pretty good considering what's behind them. The 204R overdrive transmission with a 342 rear gear. And that combination really helped this Hearst Oles get down the road. All right guys, well there you go. A one owner, all original time capsule, 1984 Hearst Oles that was just driven and well maintained. You know, these cars really were driven back in the day. I'm sure many of you have seen these cars maybe at a car cruise or a car show that have next to no miles, but this one truly was driven and well taken care of. So I'm about to get my hands dirty on this Hearst Oles and go through it and make sure it is ready for the road as the original owner wants to enjoy this car 
once again as it has been sitting quite a while. So as you guys are working on your G body, make sure you check out my channel because I have all sorts of cool videos to help you keep your G body on the road. Also make sure you check out Classic G Body Garage on both Instagram and Facebook. I'll go ahead and post those links in the description below. But that's it for this one guys. Until the next Classic G Body Garage video, make sure you keep those G bodies rolling.